I contacted someone and to make a long story short, that person told me when they began living for Jesus Christ, they began to have problems. But also, I think when you don't live for Jesus Christ, don't you have problems as well? But anyways, that person told me, in essence, when they begin living for Jesus Christ, they begin to have problems. Okay. So let's go to, yes, we are going to the Bible. <laughs> let's go to James chapter 1. I guess verses 2 through 3. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. So when you go through problems, be joyful about it. Why? Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. So pretty much the problems you are going through will, I guess, test your faith and the expanded Bible here, what it says for verse 3, because you know that these troubles test your faith and this will give you patience, perseverance, endurance. Okay, I would even, and let me say this, I was speaking to my prayer and reading partner. When you come to Jesus Christ, most of us come as a huge mess, right? Like, we may want to live for Jesus Christ, but there may be many things within us that need to be purged out, that need to be taken out of us, right? Okay. What do you believe is a way God can purge that mess out of us. Let's say we have an anger problem, an attitude problem, a lust, stealing, lying, cheating, whatever type of problem. How do you believe? What is a way do you believe God is going to purge that stuff out of us? I believe we are going to be tested. Let's say for years you have done so many bad things. Pretty much living your life in the way you want it. Okay. Now you are coming to Jesus Christ. The way you are now, you can't believe that you are okay how you are now. My, my, my. Don't we have to become more like Jesus Christ? Right? So what is a way, if I have low patience, what is a way for me to gain more patience? I believe I will be tested. Knowing this, verse three in James chapter one, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, right? 
So what is that trying to say there? So I believe as Christians, we are going to be tested. So if being tested will give me godly attributes, if I can say that, Going through troubles, let me say it like this. Some people may believe all trouble is bad. For myself, I believe one of the reasons why I have changed so much is because of problems. I think some problems are bad, but I think some problems are good. And you may say, Kevin, how can you say some problems are good? I think some people need some problems to motivate them to do what is right. Some people and please don't get offended by this. Some people need cancer. Some people need HIV. Some people need so many bad things, I think, in order to change. I remember I spoke with someone and they told me their father was, let me say it in a nice way, had many bad qualities, I guess. And that person was not a Christian, but I believe it was cancer. But when that person got cancer, I guess that person humbled himself so much to where that person accepted Jesus Christ in their life. So that cancer or whatever it was, I think humbled that person. Because if that person did not get cancer, do you believe that person would have accepted Jesus Christ in their life? Some people may need a deathbed situation as in be so sick that they know they will die. So I think some people need that in order to come to Jesus Christ. Years ago, years ago, I used to do something and I went to a person's place and that person was asking me questions and I believe he told me that he was never really a religious person, but because if I am saying this right, I think they took out one of his lungs or did something to one of his lungs or something. And I think he was saying that he gets tired easily. I forget all the details, but because of how his health is, he wanted to consider Jesus Christ. What if that man was in full health? Do you believe that person would have been interested in trying to learn about Jesus Christ. Look now, you may be trying to live for Jesus Christ now. And probably one of the reasons is because of the trouble that you were or are still in. Look now. When you come to Jesus Christ, let me say this too, where I guess some people believe 
when they come to Jesus Christ, everything is going to be perfect. Please show me in the Bible, while you are living on this earth, while trying to live for Jesus Christ, where in the Bible does it say your life is going to be problem free? Please show me because I think some people have this weird thinking, maybe out of ignorance, perhaps. I think some people believe that like their problems should cease once they give their life to Jesus Christ. Okay. For an example, and I am not saying you have these problems. Yes, you may have given your life to Jesus Christ, but you have an anger problem. You still lie, you still cheat, you still do so many bad things, and you believe that you should not go through bad things? Those things have to be purged out. Even for myself, I may act better than how I used to, but there may be still things within me that need to be taken out. Every, I believe, every bad thing that happens to you, it's not bad. I think it is to help you grow closer to Jesus Christ or if you are not trying to live for Jesus Christ, I believe bad things, some, some of it I believe, is to encourage you to come to Jesus Christ. Get the thought out of your head when you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, everything should be perfect. Get that thought out of your head because it is not true. If you read the Bible, and I don't have the scripture on me right now, but I believe in a verse, something like those who live godly shall not maybe, not occasionally, well, it doesn't say how often, but I guess it doesn't. But those who live godly shall suffer persecution. So it is going to happen. Who told you your life is going to be perfect when you live for Jesus Christ? Who said that as in not having problems? Who said that you won't have problems when you live for Jesus Christ? It isn't true. Think about Peter, the Apostle Peter, the Apostle Paul, or should I say the disciple Peter, but I believe later they became apostles, right? Think about the Apostle Paul, Peter, and all of them. I believe they all were persecuted, but for some reason, you believe nothing else should go wrong in your life after you give your life to Jesus Christ. That is, read the Bible. I am not saying I read the Bible every day, but read the Bible. Kevin, why am I going through so many problems when I am trying to live for Christ? That is normal. I am not saying to not pray against it. Yes, I think you should stay in prayer about your problems. You may need to fast and stuff like that, but it is normal. Going through problems as a Christian is normal. Are we here to live our lives? Please understand what I am trying to say. 
Are we here just for the sake to live? Or are we here, please take it in the right aspect, or are we here to be tested? I believe we are here to be tested. I believe how we do in this life will determine where we go. And if we get to heaven, I believe it is going to determine our rewards. Man. When you come to Christ, you are not, many of us, I believe, are not going to be perfect. We are going to be, many of us, I think, you know, I believe this ought to be true in what I said earlier. When you come to Christ, I believe there are going to be many things wrong with you. That stuff, I believe, and I believe this to be true too, that stuff need to be purged out. So, what I think what happens to me, I am placed in situations to where I may have to push to be patient, push to hold back my anger, push to not do what is wrong. Yes, I believe God helps us with our issues, but we have to be from what the Bible says too, I think. Submit yourselves to God, resist the devil. I am quoting the scripture wrong, but <laughs> resist the devil and he shall flee. I believe God will help us with our problems, but also I believe we have to be willing to put an effort in resisting against what is wrong. I pray all of this makes sense. So I gave you, well, I read James chapter one. So if you want to look at it, James chapter one, verses two through three. So we should be joyful. Yes, I don't like problems myself, but from what this is saying, we should be joyful for the issues that we go through. If we are living in Christ, because this is my brethren, so brethren are who? I believe he is referring to the people who are Christian. Okay, let me stop here. God bless you.